Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the Mitsubishi A6M0. Now you're probably wondering, if you've especially been following my channel for the past couple years, why are you building another Zero? Don't you already have two others? Yes I do. However, even my redesigned build that I've done, I think like two years ago now, is now outdated because I have upgraded my builds and it didn't meet with my build standards, my new ones. So I decided to completely uh, take that design and upgrade it a little bit. So basically the differences are is I shaped it a little bit better. It's got a um, new propeller. It's also got some more little details on the wings. It's got a pitot tube right here. And I believe the drop tank is new as well. And it also has an intake down there. I don't remember if I put a drop tank on my older one. But um, yeah, and there was also one more thing that I actually found out about the Zero and that it has folding wingtips. So you could tell that this is a naval version of the Zero. So th when they were when they would be placed on aircraft carriers in order for them to kind of fit in rows, they would be able to fold the wingtips so they can fit much better. And here's what it looks like with the wingtips folded. So it looks pretty cool. And basically the the um the, w the reason why the wingtips can fold rather than the entire wings like you would see find on the F4U Corsair is because these were meant to be very fast fast deployment. Like they wanted to basically deploy them extremely fast if they needed them for a combat mission. So they could just fold the wingtips and they could just take off. And the wingtips probably took like a couple seconds to unfold. Now for the Corsair, I think it took about around a minute for the wings to go from a folded position to a open position. Let me know in the comments of exactly how long it took for the F4U Corsair to uh, unfold the wings. But I know it took a bit longer than if there was just folding wing tips. Anyways, if you want to build the new Zero, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need black wool, buttons, block of quartz, quartz slab, cobblestone stair, block of iron, glass, nether brick fence, Red carpet, red wool, nether brick stair, tripwire hook, and end rod. And I should also mention too that this uh, zero, like the variant, is part of the early versions of the zero. So this would have been around the 1940, 1941. This this zero also is the same one that participated in the attack on Pearl Harbor. And um, yeah, so they've basically. And the zeros were upgraded as well afterwards, and I will be building those upgraded zeros after. So this will be the last time I do the A6M2 zero. Or no, it's the A6M mod 11. Yeah, the A6M2 mod 11. So, Anyways, so here are the layers to build it. As you can see, they're pretty easy. There's only four layers, and then the fifth layer is basically your finished one. It's basically just ba basically putting in the tail the little antenna at the top and then your cockpit basically so anyways we're gonna go over dimensions really quickly and then we will begin the tutorial okay so for the dimensions of the zero it is a two to one scale like my previous one and like all my other builds it is 16 meters long from the propeller cowling all the way down to this end block right here the very tip of the fuselage and then it is 27 meters wide, which is basically the entire width of the plane from wingtip to wingtip. Oh, and I also should mention too that the folding wingtip does shrink the wingspan. And I believe the, so it's like, I believe you basically minus four from the width of the uh, total wingspan. And then it is eight meters high. So that's from the ground to the tip of the tail. Now obviously the zero would normally sit in a diagonal position because it is a tail dragger. So but because in Minecraft you can't really do that or you can but it's very hard. It has to look like this. Anyways, let's begin. Okay, so to get started, you are going to uh grab your black blocks and you're going to go 1, 2 and 3. You're going to delete your two blocks underneath. This is going to be the start to the cowling. We're going to start from the very very front. You're going to have a, a second one on the back here, and then you're going to grab your blocks of quartz. Your block of quartz, you're going to go 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then you're going to have a slab at the back. And then you're going to grab your, oh, I forgot to mention, you'll also be needing quartz stairs. And I should also mention a nether brick slab as well. 
And then you are just going to place your court stairs. And if I just peek over here, yeah, you're going to have your court stairs going from here all the way down. But when you hit this one right here, you're going to turn it. And then you're going to have a slab here, like that. Okay, the same thing on the other side. So you have a slab, a rotated upside down stair, and that's going to go all the way back to here. And then you're just going to grab your nether brick stairs, and you are just going to have two here and two right here. So that's kind of the base of the fuselage. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the wings, and then we'll just build up from there. Okay, so for the wings, you are going to come right to the front. You're going to go where you got this one, your first upside down stair that you placed with your courts. You're going to go back by one. You're going to place a slab here, and you're going to go four. One, two, three, and four. And then you are going to make this one 11. Well, 12, but the 12 is going to be in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then your 12th one is going to go by two. And then you're just going to go back and connect this. You're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna put one, two, three, four. Remember, it's on. It's at. You skip the first of the quartz stair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then your twelfth one is going to be two. And then you're just going to drag this all the way back, and it should attach into there. And then you're just going to fill this in. And then we. And then what we'll do is we'll put in the landing gear. And the details on the wings, like the round, the uh, roundels, and a couple of the other little details here, we'll put those in uh, maybe near the end. And the folding wingtips I will also show you at the very end of the of the tutorial as well. So we'll put in the landing gear now and the wheels, like the tail wheel, and uh, then we'll build up the fuselage. All right. Again, I forgot to mention you'll need a cobblestone wall. Now, if you come to the very, um, if you come underneath the wing, like where you got your beginning part, you're going to skip one. You're going to go one, and then on your, on your second one, it's going to be a two-block gap. Now, you are going to have to place a slab here because if you tried placing a cobblestone wall, it would be floating. So you are just going to place a slab right here to connect it, and then you're going to place in a black wool block here with buttons on the side of it, and then you're going to grab a let me just go see what, what how this works. This is for the gear covers. Okay, so it's just a... Uh, okay, this is really easy. You could just place a block here. But what I'm actually going to do to change it a little bit is place a stair in here. So this is your gear cover. So when the gear folds, this part would be the part that goes flat with the wing. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to leave this one here. You're going to go back by one. And you're going to leave two. On your third one, you're going to have a slab here, cobblestone wall. And you're going to place a black block here, and then buttons on the side, and then just a stair like that. So there we go. Oh, and actually, one with the other wheel. One more thing. The other wheel, you're going to have your... It's going to be... I should probably show you how to where to place it. So it's one, two, and on your third one, it's going to be right here. And then you are going to have some buttons on the side. So make sure that's correct. Oh, no, no, it's not correct. It's right here. So you're going to leave one, and then it's going to be right here. And then you're just going to place your buttons on the side, and there you go. So there you go. So that's what your zero should look so far. OK, so for the building up of the fuselage, you're just going to grab your black blocks, and you're going to pla place two right here. And then this is going to go all the way down until it's one over, the, so it's lined up with this slab. And then you're just going to put one here. And this is also the very tip of the fuselage, so this is like your total length of your airplane. And then you are going to also place uh, two black blocks here. And this is going to go all the way down, and it'll connect in just like that. And what you can also do now is you can start, we're going to be putting the propeller in after, but you could put your engine in. So you're going to actually have four blocks, one, two, three, four. Actually, you're going to have two blocks in here. And then you're going to leave one, two, three. And then you're actually going to grab your, you're going to grab some dark green wool, like some green. You're going to go one, two, and three. Now, Japanese planes actually do have a greenish cockpit color. So... Although I think their floor color may not be green. Yes, it is. It is. So yeah, you're going to place your green uh, green wool. 
for your cockpit floor. And uh, we will continue building up from there. And we'll put the propeller in at the end as well, before we do the wings. Okay, so before we build the fuselage up, we are going to put in the ailerons, which are at the back of the plane. You're going to come right to your right to the back of the plane. You're going to leave this one here and put your slab there. It's going to be a three, then one, two, three, four. So this is going to be a four in total. And then you're just going to have a one here. And then you're going to have another four here. Fill that in. On the other side, you're going to have a one, one, two, three. You're going to skip one. And then one, two, three, four. And then you're just going to have a one. And then you're going to fill it in. And this is what the w all the wings should look like. Okay, so for the next part, to basically finish off the fuselage, you are going to place two of your cobblestone, I mean, nether bricks there here. And then you're going to go all the way down with your uh, quartz stair up until you reach this point. So you should have a three blocks here. You're just going to turn this one and you're going to have a slab just like that. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to have two of your nether brick slabs here. This is going to go all the way down with your quartz stairs. And then you are going to have a turned stair here with a slab. And then you are just going to put two black blocks here. And then with your quartz, you're going to put it up to here because this is where your cockpit's going to be. And then you're going to you're going to le basically leave that three gap in there. And then you're going to fill it up all the way down till it gets up to here. So there you go. So there's that part of it done. So now we'll get in the cockpit and the the uh, rudder. Okay, so f for the rudder, you're just going to come to the back of the plane. You're going to go one, two, three, and then two, and then you're just going to have we're well going to have your stairs in here, and then you're going to have one and two for stairs. So there you go. There's that, and then just for the cockpit, you are actually going to have a one black here. So you're going to have a black instrument panel, but with a green flooring. And then you're just going to come with your glass. You're going to go one, two, and three. And that's actually not right. You're going to delete this one here. So it, shou it should be one block. So you're actually going to cut this off. This is where your cockpit will be. You have one, two, three. And then you're just going to have that filled in. So here's where your black instrument panel will go. And then you have one, two, and three. We will be detailing the cockpit in the end. So, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, sorry for that little bit of a mix-up. I had to just uh, briefly look over at this one because I realized that uh, my cockpit was a little too far back. It's supposed to be a little bit more forwards. So, but this is right now. So you can kind of see it's starting to look a little bit like the like the zero, but uh, we still need a lot more stuff to put on it. We still need the uh, the propellers, the all the detail and all that stuff. We'll, we'll get on to that. But right now what we'll do is we'll just put the propeller in and yeah, we'll basically finish off the plane. Okay, so for the uh, propeller cowling, you're going to come w one with iron. You're going to, like where you got your this iron here, your engine, you're going to put one out and then you're just going to put a cobblestone, upside down cobblestone stair on that. And then you're going to grab your black wool blocks. But I'm actually going to use something different. I'm going to use black terracotta for the propellers. Because it's going to, I think if you use black wool, it'll blend way too much with this. So I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit. So you're going to use some black terracotta or whatever you choose. Whatever black material you use. And you could just put your propellers like this. Like if you look at how I'm doing them. Like you basically place one here, place it like an L shape, a backwards L shape, and then delete the other one so it looks like this. Now I do understand the Zero does have a three bladed propeller. However, three blades in this game are really hard to make. But if you wanted to see what it looks like, you would literally just if you wanted to do it, you would just have to do something like this. Which does not look that great. So that's why I just kinda keep it like this to make a four blade. But I know I know it's not accurate, but it's it's the way I can do make them look good in Minecraft. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to grab your nether uh, brick slab and you're just going to place it right under here. So you're going to skip one nether brick slab and then you're going to place a quartz slab just like that. So that's for your little intake. So now 
we're on to the final detailing. Okay, so for the final detailing, we're going to start with the engine. You're just going to place one tripwire hook on the side of here and another tripwire hook on the side of that. These are going to be for your little exhausts. And then coming up above the cockpit, you're just going to grab your nether brick slab and you're going to have one, I mean, nether brick fence. And I'm actually going to move it back by one because I'm going to do another little change that I did not do on this one. You're going to put a slab at the back of here and then you're going to go one, two. So just like that. So I, I will be changing my original design. Sometimes in, this tu in these tutorials I can make them look a little nicer. But I think if, you, if you want to just make it look like this, you can. Or do your own little details. So now, for the um, insignia, like for the Japanese roundel. Let me go on the one that without the wings folded so it's easier to see where it is. So you're going to count in three. So one, two, and three, and then you're just going to have a four right here. So one, two, three, and then you're just going to have two and make a four pattern. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and then you're going to make a little four pattern like that. So now for these little things here, it's basically just like a U sh an upside down U shape. You're going to go right to the beginning of the wing, and you're just going to make a U shape like this, an upside down U, just like that. So this, basically, what this is for is when the pilot gets on onto the plane, this is kind of the hardest point of the plane that you can jump into the cockpit because these planes would, would the wings, would, let's just say, weren't the most sturdy. So when the pilot would walk, because if you walked here, you would basically, like, fall through the wing or you make the wing very, um, like, damaged. You would damage the wing by doing that. So these are, like, I think a steel piece inside of the wing. So you can, that's designed specifically for the pilot to get into the cockpit. So now what you're going to do is you are going to come for th where this two is. You're going to get rid of this and you're going to place two red wool blocks like that. So there you go. There's pretty much, th oh, and actually one more thing. I should probably do the cockpit online. So you're going to delete some of the glass. Now I'm going to use uh, jungle wood. Not a Kata wood. Where's the jungle wood? Somewhere. They have the woods all over the place. I'll just use spruce wood, whatever. So you're gonna place a s you're gonna place a seat in here, and oh, and I'm also forgetting about the pedo too. But I'll I'll do that as soon as I'm done the cockpit. You're gonna place your end rod here. Now this is for like the stick. Then you can grab some item frames, and if you grab a clock. Put that in there, and then you can put in two more item frames. You're going to put in a lever. This is for your throttles on the side here. And then you could just place a button just for like a random little button. And there you go. There's your cockpit. And close this off. And actually, I'm going to grab my end rod. So for the, uh, the pilot tube, you are just going to, if we come on this one, it's literally just one block from here. So you're going to go leave this one right here, and it's going to be right here, and you go one, two, and three. So, and there you go. There, there. So this is basically your finished zero. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting one more thing. <laughs> I'm forgetting a lot of things in this tutorial. It's been a little while since I've recorded a video, so you're going to come right to here, right where this fence post is, and you're, you're going to go back by one, and this is where your uh, roundel on the sides will go. So just like that. There you go. So now you are done your zero. So now, for those of you who want the folding wing tips, if you're planning to put this on an aircraft carrier, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so in order to get the folding wing tips, so you see these endings right here, so you got one, two, three, four, and you're two. You're going to cut off just this part here. Now, you're gonna have to use blocks for this because you cannot stand up slabs unless you have mods that allows you to. But what you're going to do is you're going to place one block here, you're going to go up like this, and you're going to go four, and then just two, just like that. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. So remember where this four is, you're just going to cut this all off. You're going to go up by one, like oh, up until it's like one past the slab, 
like one up from it and then you're just going to place it your four and then a two just like that so there you go so there's if you wanted it with folding wing tips and that finishes the, this tutorial okay that finishes the tutorial of the Mitsubishi a6 m2 zero mod 11 now I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and I promise this will be my last time building this specific zero. I don't want to build like 50 zeros on the channel of the same model. But I will be coming out with other models like I mentioned earlier. Like the, the green ones, like more of the army ones. Um, I'll also be coming out with uh, later versions of them. So yeah, look forward to those. And uh, But I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to comment, like, subscribe. And I'll and if you have any build requests of any specific airplanes you want to see or whatever you want to see, please let me know down in below in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.